Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Rogue ST Woods and Irons from Callaway. Well, hi again, everyone. I'm Jimmy Roberts, and this is your Golf Central update. Here is what's coming up for the PGA Tour champions as they will play three majors over the next two months. The region's traditions begins this week, followed by the senior PGA Championship at Harbor Shores. And at the end of June, they will play the U.S. Senior Open at Saucon Valley Country Club in Pennsylvania. And as I mentioned, the man who will be defending his title in the next two of those championships is Alex Cheka. He joins us now on Golf Central from Alabama. Alex, Jimmy Roberts here. We want to thank you for joining us. And, you know, I, I don't think there's any other way to characterize it. You absolutely caught lightning in a bottle last spring. Going into that stretch where you won the two major championships, did you feel like anything was that much different? Um, I don't want to say it was much different. I just played well, um, and, and that was the key. You know, I had a couple good finishes uh, in the previous tournaments, and then I came here with a lot of confidence. I really uh, liked the golf course, and, and I, I had like a two-month period where I was just on fire. I was driving it well. I, I putted well, so the whole package was there, and, uh, you know, I took advantage, and I uh, won those two uh, tournaments, so... Uh, it was a great two months for me. <laughs> I think that's the understatement of the year. It had been a long, long time since you had won, something like six years. What do you think was standing in your way uh, during that period of time that enabled you to eventually <laughs> one that you got over? Uh, you know, I, I always was a good a good ball striker, a good putter, but, uh, you know, the last couple of years, you know, I was... Uh, almost turning 50 so the last couple of years playing on the pga tour it was just tough you know there's so many great players so many young players they hit it further they just play better than you so the last couple of years before i turned 50 on the pga tour uh, i don't want to say i was struggling but it was it was tough to uh, uh finish top 20 top 30 because the competition is just so incredible hard out there and uh you know when i turned 50 i was like oof Thank God I can play with, with some of my players I used to play in the 90s, you know? Very, very familiar faces out there with you on the PGA Tour Champions. I think for those who are watching this show and those in the game of golf who might not necessarily be familiar with your story, I think it's probably safe to say that you have the most unusual background of anybody who plays golf for a living here in the United States. Um, why don't you just tell people exactly where you came from literally and how you got there. Um, yeah, so I, I was born in the Czech Republic. Um, back then it was uh, still communism uh, in the 70s, so it was uh, a rough life. Uh, but I was too young to understand what communism is, uh, what the feeling is to live in a country like this. Uh, so when my dad made the decision to escape that country and, and, and leave to Germany uh, to give me a better life and a better future, so I really appreciate it. But as I said, I was back then too young to understand when we fled the country what it means to live in communism where you can't buy stuff, where you have nothing, um, you know, you're lucky to have a car and stuff like this. So, uh, you know, I, I know what some of those people in, in the Eastern country go through, yeah. these, even these days. Yeah. Uh, when you say that your family escaped from the Czech Republic, which was then Czechoslovakia, let's talk a little bit about exactly what that escape meant. I read one story that said that you actually had to, with your dad, swim underwater in a river and breathe through a bamboo tube because there were armed guards looking out. Is that true? Uh, yeah, it's true. I can't remember exactly. As I said, I was a, a young kid. I don't exactly remember what river it was, but I know it was a, a long trip. Uh, although the village where, where I'm from uh, was very close to the German border, and uh, but there was no way to make that crossing. So we had to go through Yugoslavia, through Italy, Switzerland, kind of a very long route. And I know it took, took us at least two weeks um, you know, from hitchhiking and hopping on train without a ticket and stuff you see like normally in movies. Hmm. Uh, but for me, you know, when you are a young kid, when you are eight years old, it's 
it's like a vacation it's like a trip it's an adventure uh, my dad was fully aware of what can happen when they catch us you get shot you get put in prison but for me it was it was just an adventure and uh I just remember after such a long trip that my my dad started to hug me. Uh, I had no idea that we were in Germany, and uh, he said, we did it, we did it. But it was a rough trip. But, you know, as I said, for a young kid, it's it's more an adventure because you don't realize what danger you're going or your dad is going through to make it safe, not only for him, but with a young kid on, on his shoulder, basically. Well, you're an adult now, obviously, and with the perspective of what's gone on in your life, I wonder where your thoughts are these last couple of months seeing what's happening in Ukraine. Yeah, it's it's really tough. I mean, same conditions what we used to have when I was a kid. I mean, uh, uh, those people have very little, almost nothing, and now you take everything away from them. Uh, you destroy their homes. Uh, people are just packing one suitcase. Similar story. What when I left, my dad had a a, a backpack, hundred Deutschmark, and a, and a young kid uh, uh, on his side. And those people, they they are fleeing now and going to Poland and Czech Republic and and somewhere where it's safer and starting a new life. Uh, what my dad did with one suitcase, and but that's basically all their belongings because everything uh, else they lost in, in the bombings in their homes and the homes are destroyed. So it's very sad. And, uh, you know, we'll see what it's, how long it's going to last and what the future will hold for those people. But it's uh, very unfortunate for those uh, people in the Ukraine, yes. Back in a calmer, uh, more placid world, we focus our attention on things like golf competitions. And next week is the second major championship on the regular <laughs> tour. It's a place where you won last year, Southern Hills, of course. Give us a scouting report on what it takes to be successful at Southern Hills. Um, you know, uh, we, we had a great setup last year, I remember. Uh, I never played the course before. I came, uh, played uh, two practice rounds, and I loved it straight away. It was straightforward, a little bit tricky. But as I said earlier, I really hit the ball well. My show game was sharp. This year or next week, it's going to be really, really tricky. You know, you play uh, uh, different players. They move almost on every hole. The tees, uh, 10, 20, 30 yards further back. I think on one hole on 12 or 13, even like 50 yards further back. So <clears throat> it's, it's going to be a different golf course. Uh, I think maybe way more rough than we, we used to have. Uh, so it's going to be a beast, you know, it's, it's when you play well, even a tough course, it's, you know, it's easy, I want to say. Uh, so you got to play well and, uh, you know, I'm going to be competing against incredible great players from, from the back tees who hit it 50 yards further than me. So, you know, I'm going to struggle probably a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's a bonus that I can come back. Um, you know, it was not on my schedule until I won last year. And they told me I, I get invited back for the real PGA. So I'm, I'm excited. I got nothing to lose. There is no pressure. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a great week. Well, I'm sure that that was a schedule change you were only too happy to make. Alex Cheka, thanks so much. Defending this week and back to Southern Hills next week. Thank you.